Hurricane Derby remains strong but on borrowed time in the Pacific. And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for July 14th. Right now, Derby is the only prominent feature in the entire tropical regions of our globe right now. The 35th storm to form this year so far uh, still keeps us in code blue due to its uh, tiny threat to the Hawaiian Islands, of which there's not much of it at all. In the Atlantic Ocean, it's day 44 of hurricane season now and still no areas of interest to talk about. So. Um, with only three tropical storms so far, we're behind quite a few seasons at this still early stage of hurricane season. So we'll keep watching. The Eastern Pacific, Derby quite clearly visible there. Slowly headed towards the Hawaiian Islands, 1250 miles away. And a high chance of development for a new, or that area of interest, the next area of interest, 70% along the coast of Mexico. In the Western Pacific, it is quiet again and no areas of interest to report. Uh, it's been a pretty slow, sedate start to the season there, but we will probably get some action. Well, it's going to happen sooner or later. And in the Indian Ocean, we are monitoring a curious little 10% area of interest off the coast of Gujarat, India which uh, has a small chance and a small window to develop into a tropical cyclone out in the Arabian Sea before bending back into the Indian coastline. We'll look at some satellite imagery first of all. This is what the Atlantic looks like right now. And regrettably, the imagery hasn't updated for me. So I can just take a look at my notes and show that the Central American area has got a lot of thunderstorms brewing right now and a few storms across Florida and the southeastern part of the United States. Eastern Pacific, uh, you can obviously see uh, Derby is the main feature there and you can see that area of interest as well uh, looking pretty decent. Uh, it's going to get its act together sooner or later, uh, just depends exactly when that's going to happen, we're not sure yet. And now we get to take a look at the floater imagery or our close-up imagery of Derby. Uh, not as good as it was in previous days, as you'd expect, uh, but still pretty decent uh, as it continues its trek across the west eastern Pacific, getting up towards 140 degrees west now. Um, still got some decent cloud tops, the ice structure not as good as in previous times, and it does look like it's struggling more towards those later frames. National Hurricane Center went with 110 miles per hour at their last update, which was higher than it was earlier on. Um, it went down to 100 miles per hour, I believe, and then back up to 110. They were even considering major hurricane status uh, for their last advisory, but didn't run with it in the end. Western Pacific, there's still a lot going on, uh, just nothing that looks like it's going to develop into a tropical cyclone. There's just a lot of um, disorganized cloudiness and uh, rain showers occurring all across the basin. Um, western side of the Philippines as well, uh, but generally nothing tropical cyclonic nature on the radar. Indian Ocean, you can see a lot of convection, particularly in western India where that area of interest might develop. Plenty over the Bay of Bengal as well. Uh, it's a very monsoonal picture there. And in the southern hemisphere in the Australian region, not much going on once again here. Frontal system moving through northern New Zealand and the uh, cloudiness and rain that was in uh, New South Wales in the last few days is clearing offshore. Well then, let's take a look at some sea surface temperatures, uh, which are looking decent once again, uh, and still building over time in the Eastern Pacific, pushing 30 degrees Celsius off the coast of Mexico and right up the Gulf of California. The uh, Atlantic Ocean, uh, there's really nothing to talk about in terms of uh, poor conditions. They're all very, very good temperatures across the Gulf of Mexico, over 30 degrees Celsius. If something starts trouble there, it could get pretty big very quickly. Gulf Stream looking good as well. 
Indian Ocean uh, is still building in those temperatures. The northern latitudes along the coastlines that we were talking about, 28 to 30 degrees. Western Pacific looking very good indeed too. Across the Philippines, east of Taiwan, out over the Philippine Sea, 30 degrees and higher. 28 degree isotherm extending almost as far as the Korean Peninsula now uh, and the southernmost islands of Japan. So the Western Pacific boiling bath water for an enormous expanse of water there. Sea surface temperature anomalies still pushing very high positive anomalies in the high latitudes in the Pacific Ocean and a little bit in the uh, lower latitudes as well in the Western Pacific. The eastern part cooler, the Atlantic generally above average as well, particularly further west. Oceanic heat content once again in the Western Caribbean and the Central Caribbean now to an extent is very good indeed. Very high values into the reds there. Uh, rocket fuel for tropical cyclones. Eastern Pacific still really struggling but slowly climbing particularly near the coast of Mexico and the Western Pacific not having any troubles there whatsoever. So let's check the computer models and it does appear as though today it's uh, a bad not, not the bad hair day but a bad uh, project file day because things aren't loading correctly on here but I can try and tell you what you're looking at even though I can't see it myself it's Derby moving past the Hawaiian Islands uh, weakening to uh, below tropical storm status before it reaches the islands chances of tropical storm force winds remain very low uh, in Hawaii uh, too low to contemplate even uh, so I wouldn't worry about that Looking at the Eastern Pacific, you can see this system, uh, this current 70% area of interest forming, becoming a very broad tropical cyclone uh, and possibly becoming a hurricane along the way as it moves uh, generally west-northwestwards. At first it may trouble the coast of Mexico, but I imagine it won't be particularly um, sustained in terms of winds, but there could be squally showers along the coast and rip currents of course. And check this out in the Indian Ocean. You can see there a brief a period where we might get that tropical cyclone off the coast of Gujarat, India. GFS showing the strongest signal on this. Other models are picking up on the low pressure system, but they're not really developing it into anything meaningful. Uh, but there's the GFS showing you just about make out that rotation early on in that run. So we're talking about the next 72 hours for that possible development to occur. And now let's take a look at the rainfall expectations for the Hawaiian region. I would take you to somewhere else, but there's really nothing interesting happening in terms of rainfall from tropical entities. So we'll stick with uh, Darby's um, projections, and those projections are very low around the Hawaiian Islands. As a matter of fact, for the next seven days, they've fallen quite away from what we were previously looking at in earlier updates we we're talking about three inches well half that we're probably talking about 1.5 inches as the maximum along the eastern coast of the big island and many areas won't receive even one inch from this tropical cyclone uh, whether that's good news for them or not uh, take it as you will longer range looking back at the eastern pacific you can take a look at what else happens with that uh, tropical cyclone so maybe a bona fide hurricane later on in its life uh, after it moves clear of Mexico and possibly sustains for a little while but GFS doesn't think it will go beyond category 1 status and towards the end of that loop there you can see that uh, another system looks like it's going to form out of that towards the end there as well and you may notice in the Atlantic over there nothing at all is happening dead quiet at this point that's the serious stuff done with so take a look at our merch store scan that link uh, you can check out some of our new products by scrolling down and the Hone collection because we're still waiting for Hone we're now doing t-shirts for that um, so that's pretty cool and you can also request animations on demand through the merch store too well then onto the silly range uh, we can take a look at what else happens in the eastern pacific and uh, it might get a little bit surprising we have one storm forming there uh, in the usual fashion becoming a hurricane another storm forming to its west and then another storm popping up to its east and in fact maybe a fourth storm there on the western side that does a himawari not a himawari a fujiwara <laughs> interaction um, and merges into one this is gfs long range uh, which is a little bit crazy 
Uh, but, you know, not unheard of to have three tropical cyclones in fairly close proximity there. Two of them hurricanes at the same time. Uh, but somehow I doubt it. Western Pacific also develops a typhoon in the long range, and you can see it there, um, a rather eastward forming uh, tropical cyclone than what we're used to, but they do happen, and then headed northwestwards there, and sort of stalling there, uh, well off the coast of Japan. But once again, that is very long range, uh, and hopes aren't particularly high for a a massive amount of tropical cyclone activity in July because of course this forecast run goes to the 29th which is almost the end of the month. Well then back in 1976 a different story was playing out. Typhoon Therese was passing through the Mariana Islands as a category 4, a very powerful storm it was and um, rumours that it could have even approached category 5 status or reached it uh, before reaching the islands. And uh, Tropical Depression 3E was just forming in the Eastern Pacific and that would get named later on. I had the name with me but I've now lost it so I guess you'll have to look it up yourself. <laughs> Which is a fantastic bit of work from me there. But Therese, the main feature on this day. Back to this year and the next name on the Atlantic naming list is Danielle. The Eastern Pacific, we're looking out now for Estelle. In the Central Pacific, the next name on list one is Hone. Meanwhile, in the Western Pacific, Songda is next up. The North Indian Ocean, we may well get Sitrang, although chances still remain low, at least for the next five days. Um, but who knows where our next storm will come from. My money's on the Eastern Pacific for our next storm, of course. The Australian region next name is Darien, Southwest Indian Ocean is Ashley, and in the South Pacific we'll be looking out for Harley. That's all for now for tonight's Tropical Weather Bulletin, we'll have another one tomorrow night. <laughs>